So today I'm gonna to go over four daily habits that made me a millionaire by 23. So I hope you guys enjoy this video because a lot of people have speculation around daily routines and like what things you should be doing in the morning to make sure that you're getting the most out of your day. There's a lot of things that I don't believe in, some things I do believe in, but the whole like morning routine niche is just not what you think it is. Um, and I was actually, funny enough, there's this new girl that I've been talking to, we were talking about this last time on FaceTime about like her morning routine and like things that I don't think she should be doing. Um, so this would be a really interesting video for anybody who's an entrepreneur who thinks that your morning is like really setting yourself up. It's actually the small daily habits that you do. So first thing that I'll always do is I like to take a drive in the morning. And this has been a daily habit of mine for the longest time ever, okay? So every morning I wake up, and I have ADD, you know, so I'm like jumping all over the place. Um, you know, I take my dog out, I wake up, I brush my teeth, I get ready, right? And it's tough for me to really just like get straight to work. I can't just get out of bed and open a laptop. It's just very tough. So with that being said, I will always go out, take a drive. And that's why in one of my videos that I talk about like the best purchase to make by the, you know, in your 20s, I talk about, you know, buying a car. The reason why is because when you're able to get up in the morning and like you're driving that thing every morning, you just feel like a lot more motivated right you feel the accountability for the day you feel the obligations and accountability that you need to have to make the day count so I will take a morning drive I'll go get a nice coffee I'll get a donut from Dunkin Donuts and then I'll just you know then that leads me into number two which is every single morning I always will drive and I go to mass so it's not like organized church I don't like organized church because to be honest with you, I was like private prayer or I'll do confessions, even though I'm not like sitting all day, but it's just a good way to stay grounded. Um, but I'll do like, like 10 to 15 minutes of private prayer and then I get in my car and then I drive back. So those are two of my daily habits. Number three is, is it's not really a habit, but it's kind of like a mindset shift thing. So the thing that I always do on the daily is to make sure that I make time for myself. The problem with most entrepreneurs is that you always think that all your time has to be dedicated to getting something done, right? It, it's not always about just doing tasks and trying to be productive. It's about staying fucking grounded. You're trying to do 85 things on a daily basis. I don't remember what the stat is, but it was like every single day a human has like 20,000 thoughts. And I'm like, dude, that that's so much baggage. Like that's just so much shit that you got to think about. So that you know the whole point there is into my third daily habit is just having balance right so being able to say no to things um being able to say no to hopping on calls having boundaries that's been always my biggest daily habit because you're setting up your day to have headspace you're setting up your day to be grounded you're setting up your day to be balanced and also you're setting up your day to feed your own self and the problem is that most people don't focus on like the whole self-help shit and you know how they actually feel and their self mental health it's a massively important thing there's like a huge movement right now about men mental health and all this stuff and it's like that's a conflicting conversation but it's, it's really just about how you stay grounded throughout the day. Being able to say no, having boundaries, and doing things throughout the day that just make you happy. Like you don't always have to work all day. Whoever told you that is a lunatic. Um, yeah, you have to get things done, but focus on how to work smarter, not harder, and focus on how to make yourself happier, not more depressed, that's not, that's not our goal here. And then my fourth daily habit is always being able to shut my laptop by X time. So, you know, four, five, whatever it is, I put my phone down or I'll move to another phone. Cause I have two cell phones. I, I have one that's like mostly business and I have one that's like the phone that I'll go and use and take out. Um, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have like all of my stories during the day are with like my lower quality phone. And then when I leave and I go out to eat, I have my iPhone 13, like the newer one that I take out with me because no one knows that phone number. I have no contacts on there. I have a service, so I have Google Maps, so I actually know how to get fucking home. And then I have like, you know, my, um, like my Instagram app and stuff like that. But I will not bring my other phone with me because that is business. I'm now gonna enjoy my time because I deserve my time. So being able to say no and shut those devices down is another big daily habit. And then number five is not setting an alarm. And I know I said four, but I'm gonna add a bonus. Number five is fuck the alarms, okay? I see so many people who like use alarms in the morning and they wake their body up. I'm a firm believer that the body needs to sleep. And if the body wants to wake up when it wakes up, it means that your body is now done with a dormant period. I, I will never use an alarm, I, I, I just won't. The only way that I'll use an alarm is if I have to get up for a flight, that's about it. But that's because I have to, right? I don't have to wake up at seven o'clock. I don't have to wake up at five o'clock, right? Usually I wake up right now about 8.15 to 8.30 just depends like my body will just wake up randomly i'd rather let my body get its sleep and then let me know 
because I'm listening to my mind of like, okay, if my body's ready to be awakened, now it's ready to be awake, it's ready to go. It's got all the energy that it has in the world. Because now if I wake up and I got a bunch of fires to put out, I can still push through the end of my day because I'm not fucking tired. The problem most people will have is that they wake up at five because they listen to some dude on the internet who said that waking up at five o'clock will make you rich. You wake up at five, you go to the gym, you get back by 6.30 and then now you're fucking exhausted. Now you're eating breakfast and then like, let's say you have a shit, you know, morning after the morning's over now you have like no energy to do anything so it's like now the rest of your day is just like now you take a nap here you take a nap there you go out with your friends like you're just you're just bullshitting the whole rest of your day because you're just so fucking exhausted like i, I will i will never wake up before six o'clock if you tell me to wake up before six even if you're paying me i'm still not gonna wake up because i just believe in letting the body sleep and letting it get its space so i hope you guys enjoyed those quick daily habits hope you can implement them into your life or at least transition with some of them. But hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.